So guys, before you get started, this is what I use. I have my box here full of sand and stuff. I'll explain which ones I use. This is for spin casting. I have a big, I don't know if you can see here, um, a big river float, 5.5 inch. And I'll show you how to rig it up here. You're gonna wanna put this up the line by about nine or 10 feet if you're fishing in a deep river. Depends, this will vary how deep your river is. And then after this, you wanna leave about three or four feet and then you're gonna cut it off about here. And then you'll use this cut off line here and you'll put a swivel. Well, first you put um, one of these connecting swivels that'll connect to a weight. So I already have this set up here. It does have braid on it, but I'm not gonna take it off for this video because I can't be bothered here. Um, but you see on here, it's got a connection here that you'll attach a weight to. It's um, a special one. So you can open and close the swivel and put different size weights on. I have weights up to this size, but I use a smaller one, which is about half the size of this one. Uh, I'm not sure what the ounces are, but um, I'm that size. And then um, you're going to attach a line on here. I'll do that now. We'll attach the line here onto the swivel. Well, personally, I do it the other way. I put it onto this little thing here. You'll tie it just onto where the weight usually goes. Right there. And then I use a regular fisherman's knot for this. I tie it up. And put it back through. And that's all tight. That I have a 15 pound line on this. So it's heavy enough for salmon fishing. And then I'll attach the leader line that we cut off onto the swivel here. You can also use heavier line as your main line and then use lighter as your leader. But I'm just using the same line because it's heavy enough for pinks. And you'll we'll tie this off here. And then I usually use anything from pink jigs like this. These are quarter amps. These ones like this. Any color with pink on it really works. Or you can use um, like little curly tails work. And then my fly selection, if I'm using spin cast flies, would be flies like this. You guys can see there. Flies with um, lots of pink on them. And uh, it does have a bead head on it there. So that's perfect for sinking. And then the other type of fly I use is an egg fly. So an egg pattern fly like this. This is supposed to imitate salmon eggs, and uh, the pinks go crazy for them. That's what I caught loads of the salmon on when I usually fish there, and um, that's what I'll be using on my fly rod as well. If you guys are looking for flies to use with a fly rod, you'll use egg flies or pink flies. Um, if you're also fishing with a fly rod, I found that in the river, you can use weights like this. They uh, attach to the fly line. If you don't have heavy fly line, because they are out on Amazon and stuff, so I just use split shots like this and um, attach them onto the line. And it makes it sink a lot better. It's not amazing for casting, but you'll attach this onto the very end of the line. And tie it off with, uh, I use a fisherman's knot for everything. You can use other knots too, but um, I find this one is pretty effective for salmon fishing. You tie it on there. Tied on, and then what I find is you cast your line up the river, so you'll be casting it about say 20 feet up the river, and then you'll let it float down the river. And as it's doing so, this bobber here will put your line down, it will let the weight uh, fall behind it, and then your bait will be behind the bobber, so that will give it the most um, depth in the water you can get, and it will just be bouncing off the bottom like this the whole way and um, all the pink salmon I've caught have been on the bottom of the river they they take it right off the bottom because I, I think it imitates eggs but I'm not sure but um that's how I get them this is my rig and the rest of the video is going to be catching fish on this so uh, stay tuned guys hey guys welcome back to another video today I'm here 
Camel River just before the bridge here. I'm gonna be doing some pink salmon fishing today. Got my bait caster rod here, cast into the river in waders. It is nine o'clock on uh, it's July 25th. I'm using a pink fly here. Pink weighted, it's almost a jig head, but not quite. So I'm casting this out and I'm gonna hope for the best. Stay tuned guys. Ah, oh, geez, these guys fight a ton. There we go, in the mouth. No, no damn way. Oh, he got stuck. Still got him. Oh, we got him. So I've moved spots. I'm using a curly tail grub now. I'm in, I'm past the bridge. The one where decides if you can catch and release. So all of the ones I catch now are releasing fish. And let's see if I can get another one. And I'm hoping I can bring it down into where they're schooling and get one. Damn, he's running. He's a mad boy. I'll give you guys give you a little release here. Let me give you a release here.
Time to get out. You got the last fish, and we're going to skedaddle out of here. So, guys, I'm home from Campbell with 16 fish here between me and my dad, and it was over three days, so we kept uh, our limit, the maximum we can have. All of them are pink salmon. Biggest one goes to him. I caught the most, though. Awesome, awesome pink salmon, though. Very happy about that. Gonna flail these guys and eat them up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment if you want, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.